Welcome to Reseller News Weekends. My name is Rich Bassini. Today is September 15, 2018. Thank you for tuning in. Today I want to talk about what's going on with eBay. No sales, glitches, down detected complaints. What's next? That's coming up. Stick around. Okay, without getting into the delays, I want to get right to it because I got quite a few windows open up. The first one we'll talk about is eBay no sales. So let's hop to it. I'm going to go over here. Click on over here. Folks, this is my favorite site whenever it comes to eBay. Um, I just want to give you a little heads up really quick before I start expanding on this topic here. Uh, since I started the, I, I opened up a, a starter store with eBay roughly about two weeks ago. It's been around that time. I have not received any sales inquiries whatsoever. I mean, it is beyond dead. <laughs> um, I had 325 listings up. I removed 226, and I'm down to 57 right now, and I'm letting them drop off one by one. Now, a lot of people are probably saying, well, if you're going to let them drop off, what are you, what are you going to be selling? I'm going to be relisting again. But I'm going to do a little more research before I just throw them up up there again. And I am no longer going to be using the good to cancel. But anyway, as you can see on top here, I got quite a few windows open up. So I want to try to get through this really quick. Let's get over here. Let's see what's going on over here now. Um, remember what I was telling you, my, for the people who do follow me, uh, that if you have more money going out than coming in, that's a problem. Here's a story over here. Um, now, when, let me just want to explain one thing. When you come to downdetected.com, if you want to find out, get the latest scoop on what's going on with eBay, come to downdetected.com, and you just type it in there, and you look, you're going to get another one that's going to have a whole array of other companies. Just scroll down, and the one you want to look for is, of course, eBay. Now, don't look at the resolved issues. Like, in other words, there's nothing new going on. you got to do, is, what you have to do is um, look down below here and you'll see this was 15 hours ago this was a day ago and so on and so forth um they also have a live outage map here so if you click it on it'll give you a map of the united states and other and the countries and stuff like that and you could see basically um where they're having problems now with the hurricane florence coming around i'm sure there's going to be a lot i, I would think there's going to be quite a few here as you can see, well, this here doesn't really affect the system in the other part, but like the United States, you can see along Florida, along the East Coast here, uh, they have outages supposedly. Now, I don't know, people have asked me in my Facebook group, uh, the eBay Top Rate Sellers group, I uh, had one uh, member saying, is this, how, how viable is this here? Is this thing a very reliable site? Is it good? And so on and so forth. Uh, I like it. I've been using it. Other people have been using it. Um, it's pretty much right up, uh, right on key. Uh, if whoever if you did try it and you don't like it for whatever reason please share it with us but I use it religiously so I'm gonna go back over here again so you can check that out uh, when you go to downdetected.com go down to and scroll down here you're gonna get a window that's gonna pop up here okay if you want to respond or you want to you know give any input you have to register with them there uh, here they have over here, if you say if you have a problem with eBay, you could click that button on and you could voice your opinion. I have done it a couple of times. Uh, they have issues like this. Your website, 62% down, 60%, uh, um, not down, but 60%. Then you have a login of 20% and check out. These are the resolved issues, supposedly resolved, which I doubt very much. But um, <laughs> that's usually what happens here. Let me refresh the screen because I'm seeing, like, okay, I think I just go over here. Okay, it's still going. Let me refresh this here. It seems like there's a little uh, bug in here. Uh, it could be because I have a lot of windows open up. So let's see what we get here now. Okay, we still got that thing going on over here. All right. Um, this here, this is the window we're not looking for here. This will talk about other stuff here. These are other uh, people voicing their opinions on here. What I wanted to do is get back to the um, screen that has all the information on the, the, the recent stuff. Okay. Now, if I can get back to this here again, uh, it figures it, every time I want to do something, uh, something like this has to happen. Let's see if, um, let's see what's going on here with this here. 
Okay, I don't know. See, my system's a little glitchy. I don't know if uh, Down Detect is a little glitchy, but let's see what happens when we click it back on again. I might as well start from the beginning anyway, just to show you. When you cut, when you open up, when you go to downdetector.com, what's going to happen is you're going to see all these windows here. It's good. it's just as good that it did happen. This way you can see. You can see Gmail, Xbox Live, Google, and so on and so forth. You're going to look for this one. You're going to click this on eBay. And it's going to bring you back to that window we just came from. All right, and it's still doing an upload here. Okay, these are the eBay reports. This wasn't what I was looking for. Um, apparently, it's got to the area I didn't want to be in here. That wasn't that one. No, that's something else I wanted to take you to. Let's see here, folks. All right, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the camera. I'm gonna pause this for a second. I'm gonna get right back to you because we're taking too much time over here. So bear with me. Okay, as you can see here. Um, there's been people complaining about, not complaining, but, you know, voicing their, uh, their issues and concerns. <clears throat> and it says over here, uh, you're going to see two hours ago, 15 hours ago, so on and so forth. This one just came up two hours ago. Uh, it says, what is the international <clears throat> web interpret thing they are rolling out now? <laughs> with eBay, they, uh, they got all these new programs that they roll out. I'll be honest with you. Uh, what they should be concentrating on is my personal take. Uh, they should be concentrating on getting the glitches and making and letting us uh, sellers make sales because it's really getting crazy over here. Um, I'm gonna I'm just gonna jump around over here. Yeah, this person over here writes, I didn't receive a feedback for almost a month. I got and I got a feedback yesterday and hit at $245 in sales. Does uh, Does eBay have a total turn? Uh, what well, is over here? eBay have a way to totally turn your store off. Yesterday, eBay platform was slow. I agree with Tim. It was uh, like a dial-up. All of the platforms were working great. Uh, here's another one here. eBay is running like a 1995 dial-up. I always said it. <laughs> I always said that even if uh, you go to all the all the platforms out there, their eBay is still uh, will be in the um, one of the most traffic and sales uh, that held true for a long time. But I guess with eBay now, most of uh, of us would would have to get uh, one sale a day or another platform to beat eBay. Pathetic, and then it says over here, <laughs> fire winning now, okay. Uh, you know, people know uh, Denver, to what they're talking about here, Devin Wenick is the uh, CEO of uh, <clears throat> eBay. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks, getting dry uh, mouth over here. Uh, it then it says over here, and this is what I was talking about, this is what caught my attention. This person over here, this wrote him a day ago. Uh, it's, well, I've had an appalling week and had to take money out of my bank to pay the eBay extortion fees. Time to get MP on uh, the case, and I think uh, this is disgusting. eBay, pull up. <laughs> this is pull up, pull your socks up. Uh, I I I know, I know this person what they're feeling right now because that's what's going to happen with me. Uh, I didn't make any sales. This is going on to the second week here. Actually, it's going on. We're, we're going to work towards the third week in uh, September, and I had no sales whatsoever. Um, if it keeps going this way, folks, I don't know what the outcome is going to be for me. I can't. All I can say is this. Um, if I do decide to stop selling, or, you know, doing this thing, I have to do go back to a nine-to-five job. I will still be doing the reseller news, and I will still be doing my YouTube channel. So don't worry for those who do follow me. If you do like me and like the content I put out, I will still be doing that. Believe me. Somehow, some way, I'll figure it out. But don't worry, I'll still be doing the news. Uh, unfortunately, um, you know. Uh, if you're not making money with this here, then you got to do something else to uh, bring that revenue in. Uh, if you want to check this out, you can go to downdetect.com. Uh, they also, I think, on Facebook over here, you can click on. You could also like them as well. Uh, it's it's not a bad site. I like it. Um, I'm going to read one more over here. <laughs> uh, okay, it says over here. Come on, man. It's not. It's it, all right. Now here's somebody saying, "Come on, man. It's not that bad." eBay is uh, is only a corrupt organization run by a <laughs> a complete progressive moron and they create problems that they can charge us uh, to fix or try to get around it uh, they make sure that you're not re uh, rewarded for hard work and they they suck out uh, your very soul they actually are becoming perfect model for communism okay and it's the same thing um, I'm not going to get too much into this here if you want to read what other uh, people are concerned you know other concerns are from others you could just click on here, load more commands, and you could read more about it. I'm going to bump out of here. If you see me talking fast, folks, because if you look up here, i got a whole bunch of windows. So I want to try to make this as quick as possible. But I also want to show you one thing, too. Uh, I, I printed this, I did a snapshot over here. 
Uh, this is from the e uh, e-commerce EKG. Uh, eBay sellers have ran into a problem. They can't <clears throat> show this in info right now. PayPal is no longer allowed to release funds. There is another outage with PayPal. eBay is linking to reviews on my item, uh, even though uh, it is used. It says over here, made offer on eBay on item yesterday. I never received the notice. Some item specifics for men's jeans are not available when searching. eBay posting purchase times incorrectly. eBay assumed shipping date does not account for holidays. Um, I got all this here from the ecommercebytes.com. I just took a snapshot to see a little window here to show you what's going on so you could check it out for yourself. I'm going to bump out of here and let's see what else we got over here. I'm not going to get to that one just yet. That was the um, uh, Antique Roadshow. Uh, I want to stick with the eBay stuff right now. This one over here, it says Marketplace sits back. This is from, oh, by the way, I always, for those who are new, I think I said it once before, uh, I do not read everything verbatim. Customer price jacking claims. Uh, I'm not going to read this whole story, only because, like I said, it did take some time. If you would like to read it, just go to news.com.au and you can read about it. The story you're looking for is Marketplace hits back, uh, hits back at co uh, customer's price jacking claims. And you can read the story here. Let's bump right out of here and move on. Like I said, I got too many windows open up. Okay, this is from uh, webretailer.com. Okay. It says eBay AppSense is shutting down by November 2018. Um, it says over here, if you haven't heard the news yet, eBay is shutting down uh, their open eBay ad app program with 3D sellers. That, uh, yeah, 3D sellers have been one of the biggest app providers since 2010. For the past decade, eBay developer programs have been given opportunities for third-party applications like 3D sellers to offer management service to sellers from within eBay. Um, I don't really get too involved with this 3D stuff here with these app centers, yeah, but for those of you who are involved with that, there, uh, just keep that date of you know keep that data ahead, you know, ahead of yourself over here. It's November 2018. They're going to be shutting it down. So if there's any you know changes that need to be done, uh, just look into it. Take care of it right now while you still got the opportunity. This was posted September 13, 2018. Uh, from the web retailer again this is webretailer.com that's the store you want to look for let's bump out of here okay ebay.com unveils new marketing campaign I really wish they'd market a can't make a thing here market how to make a sellers uh, more money because it's getting crazy with this here but anyway this came out with Dan Wilson September 13 2018 ebay.com has unveiled a new marketing campaign in the USA that focused on some of the interesting and relevant items that could be found on eBay Marketplace. The theme campaign is what is trending on eBay. Everything that is relevant, important to you. Um, you could read this story. Like I said, this story is on tamebay.com and the story you're looking for is right here. Okay, I'm going to bump out of here. Uh, would I have another window over there? I guess I have another one. Oh, I must have clicked it on twice. Sorry about that. Um, this one here, just share news, this came from uh, KDVR.com. Uh, it says, over your online auction winner returns purple hot bronze star to Centennial Woman. Uh, I didn't get a chance to read the whole story. You could click on the video here. I'm not going to do that, but I'm just going to read a little brief of here. It says, Centennial, Colorado. Uh, image, uh, image. Well, imagine your surprise if you had logged onto the internet and saw someone trying to auction off your family heirlooms. It happened to a woman in Centennial. Her late father's war medals for sale online to the highest bidder. Walter Train <clears throat> earned a Purple Heart and a Bronze Star in World War II. He was, um, he was injured on Layette uh, Island in the Philippines while serving in the U.S. Army. You know something, folks? I'll be honest with you. Um, I don't know why anybody would want to sell, a rel especially a, a father's or I mean, a personal relative's uh, you know, Purple Heart or any type of uh, medals. You know? um, I don't think that's right. Um, I'll be honest with you though, uh, looking over here at this here, right, this one here, the Purple Heart, it sounds crazy what I'm about to say, but somebody had turned one in at my local antique dealer and he was selling, I think, for I think for $150 or $200, something along the line. I didn't buy it. Um, I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't buy it to make a profit off it for the simple reason is, even though you say, well, you know, there's no name, there was no name attached to it, you know, it wasn't that, you know, formal where it had a name attached to it or anything like that. I just don't think it's right to sell purple hearts, um, especially if, if somebody didn't earn it. You know, what are you gonna? What would I do with this thing? My body says I, I, you know, I, 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 I want, you know, I earned this purple heart. 
Uh, to me, I'd rather just, I left it there. I didn't even bother picking it up because I don't want to sell it. There may be other people out there selling. Apparently, they was this was on eBay, right? So, um, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not into that right there. But, um, you know, it is what it is. People will do it. Now, I don't know if this was sold on eBay. I'm sorry. I'm over here saying it was sold on eBay. I don't want to put them into the picture here. I could be wrong. Uh, let me just see something over here, folks. I is bitter. I'm trying to see where it was. Oh, okay, my cousin joined. Uh, okay, said so Linda on eBay. Okay, so it was on eBay. I want to make sure. Uh, I don't want to give out, put out the wrong information. Okay, but anyway, um, that's my take on it. When it comes to war, you know, war medals, purple hearts, or bronze, you know, bronze medals, whatever, I wouldn't do it. Uh, that's my personal take on it. Let me know what you guys think. If you had no problem selling stuff like that, share it in the comments below. Let's move right along here. eBay sellers can beat this from tamebait.com eBay sellers uh, can beat Amazon if eBay lets them. I think I might have aired this some once before my other reseller news. If I did, I do apologize. This came out September 13, 2018. Uh, I'm not going to read the whole story. You could check it out for yourself. Uh, just go to tamebait.com. Like I said, I would, but like I said, it's it, I get too many windows open up here, folks. So let me just bump out of here. This is the uh, global EBG, uh, EKG I was talking about. Um, you know, If you have... If you have situations too, you can report your own issues too on the site. Okay. Now this was September 14th. These are the September 14th ones that were recent, and it goes on to say eBay, um, eBay asking us to complete the survey for interaction with their customer service agent that never took place. Okay. Spoof mails, I guess. I don't know. Uh, with all the glitches, it surprises me not because, like I said, the way things are going with this company here, I don't know. Like I said, since ever since I got the store, I thought things were going to work for me. And I'm not the only one experiencing it. Uh, not that I'm saying because I have a store, but it is, it's so slow. I mean, I didn't know what to, I'm waiting. I feel like I'm wasting money. And unfortunately, because there's no sales coming in, uh, that bill's going to be due soon to uh, eBay. And you know for sure they're going to get their money. So um, I don't know. Like I said, again, I don't know what the future holds for me with eBay as far as selling on that platform. But we'll see. I, I will keep you guys posted. Um, here's another one. <clears throat> On EKG, it says not a single email from PayPal today. No notice of payments received from the buyers or receipts from eBay shipping labels. Payments actually posted, just no confirmations. Uh, I'm not going to read all this here again. I'll read one more. It says eBay glitch, USPS first class international option has gone missing on the current listing pages as well as the new listings. It's just blank. Only UPS international priority and express are available. Wonder if I will lose my international sales. Again, if you have any complaints or issues that you want to share, uh, you can go to uh, ecommercebytes.com and you can report the issue and uh, share it with the others and see what happens with that. <clears throat> this one here, um, I'm pretty happy about this here. I was going to do a news break on it, but I said, you know what, let me just do it this way here. This came out, and this should be this should be kind of comforting, somewhat comforting to us uh, sellers. It's going out September 14th, well, yesterday, of course, 2018. Lawmakers float a bill to free sales tax chaos for small biz. Okay, um, it goes on to say here: Republican and Democrat lawmakers in Congress have introduced a bill that would be um, would be a huge relief to small businesses worried about online sales tax obligations. In the wake of the Supreme Court case overturning Quill, among the provisions, a $10 million exemption for small business sellers until the state simplifies collection. And it goes on to say over here. It would also uh, protect sellers from states who might want to collect sales tax retroactively from any sale prior to uh, June 21st, 2018, according to BNA, uh, the tw uh, of the 25 states that have enacted an, an economic nexus model. Only two, South Dakota and Maine, prohibit the state from applying the laws uh, retroactively. And then it goes on a little more. Um, yeah, if they have to go back prior to June 21st, 2018. That's going to be a problem. So hopefully people will kept, you know, keep records and stuff like that just in case this does get overturned or there are changes with this sales tax issue. You might want to hold on to all your documentation, which most of us probably do anyway. Anyway, you could check that story out. Again, that's on ecommercebytes.com. It was posted yesterday, September 14, 2018. Uh, just check it out and you can see it. That, that, that's pretty, that brings news to me a little... A little closer to me. I feel a little comforting uh, reading this one here. So I'm going to, um, you know, actually, yeah, I'm going to bump out of it and I'll go back to it later. Here's the one now. Uh, it says eBay sellers now can offer 
tiered volume discounts. This came out September 13, 2018. eBay added a new feature to promotions manager so sellers can give shoppers an incentive to buy quantity by adding tiers to the volume price, uh, volume price discount feature. Sellers now can offer a buyer's greater discounts for purchasing greater quantities. Um, when you click it on, if you click on a new functionality, it brings another window up. I already did it for you guys. It says volume price offers. Uh, this is what it's going to look like. I guess how they're going to see it on their end, the buyer. And um, I'm not going to go get into this here. If you want to read this story and you want to check that, you know, you want to and you want to get to this page, just make sure you click over here the uh, new functionality. You can read about it. This again came off of ecommercebytes.com. So let's bump this window, bump this window here. eBay managed payments spotted in the wild. Uh, this story came out over here, uh, September 6th. It's old news, but good news, hopefully. Uh, a listing powered by eBay managed payments rather than PayPal has been discovered, but where they're all uh, are all the others. Uh, see if you could find out. See if you could find find out. See if you could find uh, any. Uh, you'll know the you'll know them because their listings do not offer PayPal. Uh, eBay also kicked the promotion um, today that gives a subset. Or a buyer's discount for paying with a credit card directly on eBay. If you qualify for the buyer promotion, you will see the offer in your homepage slider. I don't recall getting this here, folks. I don't know if any of you have out there. I never really, and if I did, to be honest with you, I really don't buy much off of eBay. Um, basically, the things I do buy off of eBay right now, as of, as of current time, uh, would be the uh, toner cartridge for my uh, HP LaserJet printer and the uh, ink cartridge for my laser all-in-one color printer that's about the only things i will buy off of ebay right now so for me uh this you know i guess it would help but i think they want you to have uh offer of fifty dollars or more and i got news for you i will not spend fifty dollars on ebay for under no circumstances uh the toner cartridge i bought for my laser printer was only i think ten dollars or fifteen dollars and the ink cartridge uh for my uh, the ink cartridge for my um hp photosmart printer i think was like under 10 bu 10 bucks something like that with free shipping so um this ain't going to apply for me, but if any of you guys out there have used it, check out, you know, check it out. Okay. Uh, Deja Vu reports that, okay, the web interpreter mayhem strikes again. This came out on September 8, 2018. Um, this basically deals with, I guess, um, with selling international from what I see here. Sales are reporting that the very costly eBay glitch involving the third-party services web interpret uh, has struck again. eBay apologized to sellers in May for problems caused by a technical error stemming from a promotional banner in a seller hub, uh, seller hub uh, between May 1st, 2018 to May 4th, 2018. Simply by clicking on the banner, it resulted in a third party create, creating duplicate listings on their behalf. Um, this is a glitch. <laughs> and I'm glad I'm not involved with it. Uh, I haven't seen that happen with me uh, so far. Uh, but... Um, you know, if it's affecting you guys, like I always tell people in my videos, um, it doesn't hurt to call them up, call up customer service. If you don't have the number, it'll be, I think I have it posted in there, my thing. If not, I'll post it in there. But call up, tech, uh, call up customer service, eBay customer service, and let them know what your concerns and issues are. And at the end of the call, ask them for a confirmation number. This way it's documented and they know it on there and you don't have to repeat yourself over and over again. It's it, To me, it's well worth it because I don't like repeating myself over and over again. So you might want to call them up and uh, you know make note of that there. If you want to read the rest of the story, you know the site. Let's bump out of here. Should eBay be allowed to override block buyers list? Well, I'll tell you. You know, me personally, I don't like Big Brother sticking his hands where it don't concern. It says over here, a seller reported <clears throat> that an eBay customer service rep greatly overstepped his or her bounds by allowing a block buyer to purchase an item from them last night. Now, remember, this was September 7th, 2018, so I don't want you to think it was yesterday, like, uh, you know, like uh, the, four, the 14th, all right? This is, you remember the dates now, when I post the dates in here, that's why I tell you. Uh, it says over here, um, blocking the buyers is uncommon. Is not uncommon for eBay and overriding a block can result in the consequences ranging from a million to a costly to dangerous. Uh, it goes over here. The seller's question said uh, the seller in question said returns have exploited exploded uh, since June, costing them time and money. 
but he or she also stated, uh, said the incident was disturbing given the fact that they experienced an abusive buyer and this year who called and left a violent homophobic telephone message. I'm not going to read the whole story, folks. You could check it out. Just go to you know where, ecommercebrights.com. Let's bump out of here. Uh, I think I read this once before. I don't know if I did this again. eBay, uh, this came out September 8, 2018. eBay sellers um, offer free returns to counter lying by our buyers. This sounds very familiar, but for those who knew didn't hear it, it just goes on to say, Dear Ina, tonight I closed a difficult return with the buyer who did not read the listing and tried to claim the item was damaged. When there was a, a clear odor dis uh, disclaimer, the buyer agreed to pay for the shipping in the message yet left the feedback i would not accept the return and this is what the supposedly what the uh, seller said seller is rude with no customer service skills won't accept return when stated yes um to be honest with you folks i haven't had a situation like that where you know i i don't deal with the international stuff too but i'm just saying like i, I don't i don't sell international but in regards to this here about the um you know, offering free returns to count the line. I offer that right now, and to be honest with you, the reason why I had to offer that is if I want the main top rated seller, that was part of the conditions. I had to have offer 30 day free returns. And uh, what was the other thing, something else? Uh, one day service, whatever. They gave you some, you know, metrics there to fit, you know, to work with in order to uh, maintain your top rated seller status outside of all the other uh, little, you know, particulars that you have to do to maintain that there. Uh, for me, like I said, I haven't experienced this yet. Uh, I have offered the 30-day returns, and so far, thank God, knock on wood, uh, I haven't had any returns as far as that part goes. Not, not in that respect. But if you want to read the rest of the story, you can check it out. eBay repeats Como, uh, cu Como, <laughs> coupon promo redemption issues. This came out September 9th, 2018. I'm not thinking about the politics, believe me, folks. <laughs> uh, it says eBay is offering a $5 coupon. Now, remember, this came September 9th, so this is old news. I apologize. Uh, but it is somewhat good because it does run through September 27th. It says eBay is offering a $5 coupon this month as part of an invitation-only promotion. It kicked off on September 5th and runs through September 27th. Um, if anybody has received this memo from them, this coupon that you want to exercise, you got to the 27th of this month, uh, take advantage of it, you know. Uh, if it'll help out, it'll help out. Maybe I might even look into it too, but I want to see if I have to spend a certain amount of money in order to do it. Let's see over here. Uh, no transfer, no minimum. Okay, now this is, see, this is good. See, I like this right here, folks. It's saying right here, $5, free $5 coupon. Let's do this. Now, I need ink for my, uh, my laser, my, uh, what do you call it, my all-in-one printer. I think I'm going to take advantage of this. This is good. I'm going to definitely take advantage of that because for a simple reason is uh, I do need ink. And if I can save $5 coupon, why not? You know, And it only goes to the 27th. So keep keep that in mind, folks, if you're going to exercise it. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about, let me open up my email here. Um, as you can see here, this new company, well, I don't know how new it is, but like we need more competition, <laughs> banggood.com. This came in my email just to let you know. Um, if you want to check it out, you can go to the website. I don't know. I haven't bought off it. I came across it. I figured I'd share it with you guys. And the other one I want to share with you is, uh, for those who didn't know, that was what the other window I closed out. I forgot about how this one opened up. Um, if you're not familiar with the Antique Roadshow, you might want to check it out. Um, they got pretty good information there. Uh, right now, if you click on this one here, it'll take you to another window. And um, when you open it up, it's going to have a... I bought it through. in New York City about 20 years. Okay. Uh, this one here, it's a two-minute long clip, but I'm not going to play it right now for the simple reason is because, um, you know, I'm trying to keep this here short, but you could check it out. Uh, just go to uh, Antique Roadshow, I think. Let me see. Let me go back to that window. Uh, hold on. Let me see something. One second here, folks. Well, I think if you just type in Antique Roadshow, it'll bring you to this here. But they, they, they talk about good things over there. Especially if you're a person that's into antiquities or, you know, vintage antiques. Uh, if you never watched the show, you might want to check into it, you know. But uh, very good show. And I think, kind of, basically, I think this pertains to us because, look, we're resellers, you know. We buy stuff like this. You know, you might see something from watching the show, uh, you know, 
that may be that may be equivalent to what's here and you might you know might be worth a good buck you never know you know you got to look into these things though but i just wanted to share it with you and i think you could see this here by going to antiqueroadshow.com and uh you could check it out as well i'm going to bump out of this screen here and uh, i just want to close this video out i don't know how long it's going to be i do apologize but it is too long um for those who are experiencing slow sales or no sales <laughs> in my case uh as you see what that person is going through the uh, person that was just in the uh, down detector what they were talking about um would have to take money out of their personal savings account that's the problem with uh, ebay and you know with glitches going on it, it you know like and that was the last topic i say what's next i really don't know anymore you know um I'm going to probably give eBay a call, too, and find out what, what's going on here if they're experiencing it. Last time I spoke to them, they said that there were, the teammate said, as far as he knows, there was nothing going on. There was no glitches going on. Uh, the only excuse I got from the teammate, and it probably prompted to tell sellers, concerned sellers who want to voice their issues or concerns, tell them that it's just a slow month and uh, it'll pick up. Because I'm sure if I call another teammate up, I'm going to hear the same thing. They're probably prompted and you know told by management, you know, when people call up with this issue, slow sales, how come I'm not making any, you know, you're making any sales at all, little or no sales, which is me, goose eggs, you know. Um, that's what's happening here. Now, we're going on the third week of September, okay? No sales. I got an eBay bill coming up, though. That'll be due at the end of this month, I think. And you know what? They will be getting their money. They're going to be getting their money. But for people like me that didn't make any money so far for the third, going on the third week, that stinks. Okay? That's terrible. And to be honest with you, to, you know, have a business, you know, try, being in this business, I mean, you can't make any money out of it. You know what I'm going to say, but I don't, I don't I, you know, I know a lot of people who do follow me on this channel, I would think. They probably think I'm more, I speak more as a pessimistic I'm more of an optimist, okay? Even though eBay is drastically dead for me, um, I will always probably be selling, if it's not eBay, but I will always be in the e-commerce business. Even if I have to go back to a nine to five job, I will do the e-commerce business, okay? I will also be doing the reseller news, and I am also going to be doing other topics besides reseller news and eBay talk, okay? Um, this is what it's all about. You know, um, I didn't choose to get laid off from my company. For those who don't know, back in June of 2016, a thousand of our jobs went overseas. That's how I became unemployed. Uh, and I, during the unemployment, during looking for jobs, I ended up um, doing the eBay full time. It was a full time slash hobby. So it is what it is, folks. But uh, if anybody is having good sales out there, and you want to share it with us, please do, because I'd like to hear what you have to say. Because all I know right now is sales are so damn dead. I, I, I'd be happy if I got one today. I got nothing. And you know, the funny thing is, um, it seems like since I opened that store, I got hardly anything with it, you know? But uh, it is what it is. You know, that's what you got to deal with this type of business if you want to stay in it. It's like that old saying with the lottery, you got to be in it to win it. If you want to make a go out of this business, you're going to have to work that much more harder. Me too. You know, but um, let's see how the rest of the day goes on, the rest of the week. Hopefully, I make money. My bills are coming at the end of the month. I'm hoping by some divine intervention, I will make a lot of sales, you know. But I'm going to call it eBay and find out what's going on as well because I am concerned. Um, you know, they're getting their money every month, okay. And with that in mind, by them, you know, they're constantly getting cash. What about the guys like us? That's why they took out rolling at all these new programs, this, that, and the other thing. Why don't you stay? Why don't you just leave the system alone if it's working? Leave it be, and let us buy our sellers and buyers, or because buyers are also sellers. Let us use the platform to the best of its ability. You know, let's let's take advantage of it. You know, but I don't know what's going on with eBay. I think whenever they have system glitches, not only does it affect the east, you know, the uh, sellers, the buyers and sellers, but it affects others as well. You know, uh, the, the the processing companies who have to pay, right? So. You know, eBay, if you're listening, watching, please, you know, get. let's fix this problem. Let's move on. You guys had too many glitches from the past, and it seems like they're protracting and coming right up to the front, you know, to the present time. 
So please, if you guys can fit, you know, if you can fix it over there, do what you can. Let's get this thing done once and for all. Okay, let's make it. Let's make. Let's let's get back to basics, you know, and let's get this stuff here. Let's start moving this merchandise out. Okay, um, I, like I said again, I have a starter store that gives me 100 free listings every month. So I got to list some more now. So I'm just, I'm just doing that. The old stuff I got rid of, you know, and I'm gonna relist it again. But no more good to cancel. Anyway, guys, this is Rich Bassini signing off for the news weekends, uh, reselling news weekends. Today is um, September 15, 2018. Thank you for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll talk to you then. Bye bye.